How is it going? Welcome to my 1 to 99 woodcutting video. I'm going to be showing you guys the best methods of 2018 along with XP and how to make some amazing gold. I'll also be showing you guys Ants and the Woodcutting Guild, so stay tuned. And I've actually just posted every single 1 to 99 video, so if you do find this video informative, make sure you go check out any other skill. It would also mean a lot if you guys actually click the bell notification because a good amount of people have been messaging me in game or the clan chat telling me like whoa dude I'm subscribed but I didn't see the new 99 video I'm actually looking for so yeah guys would mean a lot and speaking of that make sure you guys actually come to my clan chat in game we do weekly pvm events pk events and like a drop party every couple days and it's pretty lit honestly every day it's getting bigger sometimes we have 90 people in the in the clan chat I do hope to see you guys there and join in the village Alright, so starting off with the woodcutting quest list, and there is um there's a couple good ones on here. We can see that Fremenic Isles is something you would definitely want to do along with the trials, although the trials only gives you 2.8k. I do believe that's for the Fremenic Helm. To be honest, none of these quests are gonna help out that much and get you early levels, except Monk's Friend. You're gonna get 2k XP, and there's actually no requirements. Starting it off with regular trees at 1 to 15, should take you about 15 minutes, 97 logs needed. You could actually fletch them or fire make them because banking them just <laughs> wouldn't be useful. They're only like 30 GP and of course it's like the most common thing in RuneScape besides grass. There's literally trees everywhere. If you were to actually fletch these, I would make arrow shafts and you could even kill some chickens and add feathers to them to make them headless arrows. And then if you watch my 1 to 9 on smithing video, you would then start out your smithing making arrowheads like bronze and iron and then you could actually attach them because making arrows is some of the best fletching XP in the game but you're of course going to need a whole bunch of headless arrows. Moving on to oak trees at 15 to 40, switch to myth and addy axe, definitely don't forget, always be trying to you know, move up axe levels as you get them, about 18k XP an hour you could be getting. 930 logs needed for level 40. All right, so this is where it actually starts to get good. Level 40 willow logs. You actually unlock willow logs at level 30, but I would not cut them until level 40 because it's kind of like cooking. If you were to cook a fish right when you unlock it, you're going to burn it so much. And with this, you're just going to spend minutes hacking at the tree, really not making any progress. It'd be better to go the tier of tree below. At level 41 woodcutting, you unlock the rune axe, which is only like 7k. At 61, you unlock the dragon axe, which is about 55k. So yeah, with the dragon axe, having a possibility to actually turn into the infernal axe and, you know, woodcut your logs, it's so OP. You can actually use a dragon axe to have a special attack, which boosts your woodcutting level by 3. Cutting willow logs is roughly going to be about 30 to 50k XP. It will matter on which location you go to, and if you're going to drop them or bank them, you know, it will depend. I would definitely cut them at the Gnome Stronghold, which is the closest to a bank, or you could go to the Draenor or Barbarian Outpost, which actually has a deposit box there. You could also cut maple logs, although maple logs are 7 GP. I just covered it in the fire making video of why they're so low. I definitely think it's because of the throne of miscellany. It's a pretty cool like little mini game you get after a quest and you basically just throw a whole bunch of money in and then check it in a couple days and you should get about 100k per day. But most people just put all the resources on the hard wood so they get bird's nests and then of course they could get like magic seeds which are 200k. But with those they get the maple logs which have now turned them from 100 GP all the way down to 7. So it's not even worth it to cut these, but let's move on to the next topic. Alright, so moving on to teak trees at level 65. You could cut these all the way to 99 because it's 100k XP an hour. You're going to be wanting to cut these on Karamja or Apatol. It's definitely the best woodcutting in the game. Nothing really comes close besides the redwoods, but that's at 90 woodcutting and it's very AFK for about 50k XP. At level 75, you could begin to cut yew trees. Of course, you could cut them sooner, but it's not going to be worth it until a couple levels after, or it's very slow. I would only cut yew trees at the gnome stronghold or the woodcutting guild, 
because gnome stronghold has a bank right there and like three trees plus you could actually plant a farming patch and let the patches right there you could have it be a magic tree or a yew tree so it's just extra trees for you to cut although the gnome stronghold is good I would highly suggest going to uh, the woodcutting guild. This new guild is on the island of Zaya and you'll need 75% Hasidious house, I do believe. So it will take you a couple hours. You need 60 woodcutting to enter the guild, but it's definitely worth it. We can see you're going to be getting so much more gold and XP inside the guild versus outside. And moving on to magic trees at level 90 to 99 there is an alternative i'm about to show you and the woodcutting guild of course but i would only cut this in the woodcutting guild and gnome stronghold because the magic trees elsewhere i believe are in like the ranging guild well they're next to it and it is literally a mile to a bank but yeah it's about 30k xp an hour it's definitely going to vary depending on your woodcutting level and if you do it inside the guild or not you could be looking at 100k to 150k gold an hour which really isn't too bad considering it is skilling and woodcutting and there's so much logs coming to game because of like pvm and all that stuff if you were to combine this with merching and you know farm runs and herb runs it, you can make some serious gold Alright, so moving on to the best part, the Woodcutting Guild. This came out about a year ago, and there is so many things in here. We can see every single tree is just mad abundant, like 10 of each. And of course, a lot of people are here, so a good place to make friends and just chat. They also have an Ent Cave lower on, and Ents are amazing. You can actually kill these things. They're also in the wilderness as well, but if you have the Woodcutting Guild, you can just kill them in here. You actually kill them, woodcut them, and get mad XP and mad loot. They're probably 500k gold an hour. If you walk down the hill just a bit, there's lower level trees along with a sawmill. And I do believe this is the closest sawmill in the game, if you're an Iron Man of course. And they also have a little like bird's nest altar place where you put your bird's eggs from woodcutting and you actually get crushed nests. So that's a really great money maker if you stack those up. There is also the redwood tree, the last tree I actually do want to talk about. It is unlocked at level 90. It's only found in the woodcutting guild, roughly 70k XP an hour. If you're really like uh, focused, I'd say if you're not, it's probably 55 to 60. Cutting these logs will give you about 50k gold an hour. They're only, you know, 250, 300. Although back in the day when these came out, I remember woodcutting them. They were actually worth more than the magic log. So it's pretty sad to see them so cheap. You'll have to cut around 20k logs all the way to 99. And you're going to make about 5.5 mil profit, which uh, of course isn't as good as the magic logs. And to top it all off, the woodcutting guild actually has a 7 plus invisible boost, which is going to help you get, you know, more logs, more XP and more gold. I might as well touch upon the wilderness resource area. There's not much to say because it's probably not efficient to come out here when some of the banks are so close like the woodcutting guild. But yeah, there's actually a whole bunch of yew trees and magic trees. There is also the redwood tree, the last tree I actually do want to talk about. It is unlocked at level 90. It's only found in the woodcutting guild, roughly 70k XP an hour. If you're really like uh, focused, I'd say if you're not, it's probably 55 to 60. Cutting these logs will give you about 50k gold an hour. They're only, you know, 250, 300. Although back in the day when these came out, I remember woodcutting them. They were actually worth more than the magic log. So it's pretty sad to see them so cheap. You'll have to cut around 20k logs all the way to 99 and you're gonna make about 5.5 mil profit which uh, of course isn't as good as the magic logs. And to top it all off, the woodcutting guild actually has a 7 plus invisible boost, which is going to help you get you know more logs, more XP, and more gold. 
I might as well touch upon the wilderness resource area. There's not much to say because it's probably not efficient to come out here when some of the banks are so close like the woodcutting guild. But yeah, there's actually a whole bunch of yew trees and magic trees. And you can actually just cut the logs, use them on the banker, but you do have to pay a little bit of gold per log to actually note it. And then if someone came and killed you, you'd lose all your logs. Good fight. And if you guys didn't know, woodcutting actually has a pet, the beaver. It's extremely rare. Like we can see uh, on this graph, most of the trees actually have a 300,000 chance to get the, the beaver. So yeah, I don't think you're